My name is Max Farrer. I came to live in Chapel Town first in 1970 when I was an undergraduate sociology student at Leeds Uni. I lived on Spencer Place. And uh, the highlight of my year was uh, when a Black Power demonstration walked past my uh, flat, uh, number five Spencer Place, up, up a flat, and I saw this rowdy gang of black people coming past with placards and shouting Black Power st slogans. This is 1970, about May. I'm supposed to be re revising for my finals, but I duck out of the house, follow this um, marvellous demonstration down into a building that is now called Host Media Centre, but was then called the Jubilee Hall and later became called Leeds Trades Councils Club. This is the big building at the bottom of Chapel Town Road on, on I think, Savile Place. So I attended, I stood at the back, one white lad at the back of a big hall full of uh, black people from Chapel Town and from London. I realised later, much later, that this was um, probably organised by the London Black Panthers who I'd heard of and uh, never actually met in the flesh. But this uh, made me resolve to stay forever in Chapel Town, and um, I duly did. And then from the early 1970s, from basically about 1972 through to 1975, I helped produce a newspaper called Chapel Town News. And um, that is now in circulation in a sort of reinvented form thanks to the Chapel Town Union of Psychogeographers and they've got this thing circulating right now called The Saucer which has as its front page Chapel Town News and inside The Saucer has a photo that I gave them of a demonstration in 1994 starting off from the Hayfield which was the uh, infamous hotel, pub, um, place that a lot of people thought was a place of ill repute but actually was a perfectly fine place to go um, as long as you weren't class or, or race prejudiced it was a perfectly nice place to go play dominoes and meet your friends and so on and uh, the 1994 demonstration was actually the last of the demonstrations that in the early 70s were a sort of regular feature of Chapel Town's history and as I got more and more involved both in organising some of the demonstrations and certainly taking part in them I began to realise that um, Chapel Town which as I say through things like the Hayfield get labelled as being uh, places of uh, drug dealing and prostitution and, and crime of various sorts actually is a place of extraordinary cultural, political, social creativity.